from the moment the news broke and it was announced that Tess was a contestant on The Voice. It never stopped. It never stopped. Welcome home and congratulations. Um, a win for you is a win for every single Jamaican. I think more so than anything, Jamaica needed this win. What everybody don't say is that you see a show Monday and Tuesday. You don't see what goes on the rest of the week for the last three months when this woman is up from five in the morning and she's not ending until 10 o'clock at night at points. You entered the Glena competition at 16 and won. You have participated in functions for us. Team Blue is for you 100%. We've been loudmouths. And so this is just a token. The old dame of North Street has never looked sexier for the past couple of weeks. So on behalf of Team Blue, the Jamaica Gleaner, we give you love and blessings. I'd like to thank the people of Jamaica, not just in Jamaica, but all over the world. You don't understand, my sister and my brother-in-law, Wayne would call me all the time, and Cuff would call me and be like, you don't understand what's going on down here. And this and that. And you know what, I can because I felt it in some strange way, that energy and that love came to me and that's what sustained me throughout this whole competition and you know when Shaggy talk about winning it's because I realized that I wasn't just doing this for me anymore, I was doing it for you too and I shared this trophy with you all tonight because you made it possible. I love you dearly, I'm so happy to be home and I'm so happy to talk with all of you. Thank you so very much for everything and to the entire voice people, to my fellow country Contestants, I just like to reach out and tell them thank you for making this an awesome experience, the, the, the most amazing experience I've had so far. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming and thank you for waiting. I love you.